This video is going to be taking a look at polymeter and doing that on the vector sequencer. Before we look at the poly part of polymeter, let's take a deeper dive at meter. Now one of the biggest challenges we're going to face uh, right from the get-go is that at the current firmware version, which is 1.0. whatever, the vector sequencer doesn't have the notion of meter built in. However, if we take a closer look at what meter means and some of the theory behind it, there are enough tools on this module that we can actually accomplish what we want. So recall when we're talking about meter that we're primarily talking about two things. The first is the time signature, and that tells us how many beats are in a measure and what duration that beat is. And the second thing is the accent or the feel of that particular meter. The most common time signature that is used in the overwhelming majority of Western music is going to be 4-4. Four, four. And what that means is the bottom number 4 means that the quarter note is receiving the beat, and the top number 4 is indicating that there are 4 of those note durations to one measure. Similarly, if we had a time signature of 3-4, there would be 3 quarter notes that would make up a measure. Now, as I mentioned before, looking at the sequencer, there isn't actually any way to say, I'm working in 4-4, or I'm working in 3-4, or 6-8, or 12-8, or whatever. However, there's a couple of tools that we can use that will allow us to uh, implement a meter. So first off, if we look at the control section, uh, one of the things that we can set over here, these two values, rate and mode, what these, what these control is per part, how do we interpret the BPM that's set on the global page? How do we interpret that to each step in this part? So let's say that we had a time signature of 4-4. Four, four. One of the things that we could do, very simply, is we could set our rate to a quarter note. MDV, by the way, means musical division. And so that means that each step in our part is going to receive the equivalent of the musical division of a quarter note. Now, when it comes to meter, that means that if we know our rate and we know our length, we can figure out how many bars we have. So right now, this part is set to a length of eight, so eight total steps. And we know that if the duration of each step is a quarter note, then this will be a measure or a bar, and this will be a measure of a bar. So this part is going to represent two bars in 4-4, four, four, because there's 1, 2, 3, 4, and 1, 2, 3, 4. Likewise, if we brought our part length down to 6, we could think of that as being 6 steps, so six 3 quarter notes, and 3 quarter notes, making up two bars of 3-4. So counting out and making sure that there's enough beats to represent one bar is only half of what we need to be considering when we talk about meter. The other half is accent or feel. Now, this starts getting a little fuzzy, and there's a lot of people talking on the internet about what the different feel of things are. But you can feel it a bit when you count it. So, for example, in 4-4, four, four, there's going to be four beats, so one, two, three, four. And the strongest of those beats is going to be the first one. And the second strongest will be the third one. And beats two and four are considered weak beats. So 4-4 four, four is actually one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Now, when we bring accents or strong and weak beats to the modular, one of the things that we can do is we can change the timbre of a particular sound in order to accent it. So I've gone ahead and set a couple of things up. So first of all, our part is set to a quarter note, and we have a length of four. So I'm going to target the time signature of 4-4. Four, four. And I haven't done anything real interesting with the pitches, and I just have a medium value for the gate. Now, velocity is the part that I want to draw your attention to. I have patched the velocity output for this particular part into the filter cutoff. So if I just gave it a couple of clicks, you can hear there's 
not a whole lot of difference between each note. But in 4-4, I mentioned the first note is the strongest beat, and so I'm going to dial up the velocity there. And the third note is kind of a, a medium strength beat, so I'm not going to go up all the way. I'm going to make it kind of in between the, the weak beat and the strongest beat. It's, it's a kind of strong beat. So let's listen to the difference. So that's with accents and without accents. So you can hear a pretty big difference there. The accents really start to define the groove or the feel of this particular meter. Right, you can almost start to bob your head to that a little bit. So these couple of attributes are going to be important in order to do polymeter. Now, I haven't actually mentioned what polymeter is, so let's get into that. Understanding these bits, polymeter is simply two meters that are playing over top of each other. Now, polymeter is sometimes confused with polyrhythm, and the key thing to understand about polymeter is that both meters are playing at the same tempo they just have a different meter. And you might wonder, why does that matter? Well, that's where the accent comes in. If there's a different length to how long it is, say we have 4-4 four, four, and 5-4, and the accent is always on the first beat, then it means that over time, what will happen is those first beats will grow apart, and then they'll grow back together. So let's actually go ahead and punch that in, and I'll show you what I mean. So I'm going to clear out what I have uh, on this part right here. And uh, let's just go ahead and we'll set, up, we'll set up some gates. So I'm just working on part one right now. And uh, I'm going to set that to a quarter note like we talked about. And I'll just do a part length of four. So we're interested in four, four time. To make this a bit more interesting, let's actually let's dial in a uh, chord. So I'll do... Let's see. Yeah, I'll do that. And I am going to also dial in an accent on the very first beat. Just to keep it simple. We, we could add this one in here. Actually, let's just go ahead and add that. All right. So that's going to be one of our parts. Remember, in polymeter, we're going to have two meters. So this meter is going to be 4-4. Four, four. We know we have exactly one bar, and we've got four beats, and each beat is a quarter note. So let's go on to our second part. And in our second part, remember, the tempo has to stay the same, so I'm going to set this also to a quarter note. But instead, I'm going to do 5-4. So we'll do 5-4 over top of 4-4. Four, four. So instead of setting the length to 4, we want to have five beats in our bar, so I'm going to set that to five. And uh, likewise, i also go ahead and set a gate amount, and I'll dial in a very similar sequence, except I will change it slightly here. Let's see, is that good? Yeah, that, that should probably be good. So I have a slightly different pitch, and then on our velocity, similarly, I'm going to accent just the first beat here. So I'm going to actually, before we go on, I'm going to mute. I'm going to mute the first part so we can listen to just the second one. I'm going to bring down the delay on that a little bit. Okay, so have you got that in your head? Let me unmute this first part. So remember, our first part here, our first part is in 4-4. Four, four. Quarter note, length of 4. 
We could also make this a length of eight, but to keep it simple, I'm gonna make it a length of four. Second part, also a quarter note, but a length of five. Let's listen. Now you notice what happens is they start together that the accented beat, they start together and then they slowly grow apart. Listen, so the first time through the pattern, they'll be together, together. So slight gap, longer gap, longest gap, together. That's pretty cool now, isn't it? A couple of other things to make this a little bit more obvious. Uh, one of the things we could do is we could actually, which one am I on? We could actually mute all of the steps except the accented note, and that would give us a, a similar effect. Let's actually speed this up a little bit. some of that delay. Polymeter.